Hi, St. Peter's Episcopal Church and all our brothers and sisters. That uh, It's great to be with you today as we give you the announcements for this week, this uh, first week after the Epiphany. Uh, um, we are on January 11th today. The red door will be open this Thursday on the 13th, so keep that in mind. If there's folks that ask you, it will be open. The weather's going to cooperate. And everything's ready for... Uh, a great reopening after the holidays and some weather delays. Thank you to everyone that has submitted their ministry commitment cards, their pledge cards for 2022. We're still working on that budget. If you haven't submitted your bright colored card that you received in the mail, please try to get that in so we can continue finalizing this, uh, this year's budget. We're in, 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 uh, in that regard, we're going to have the annual meeting on Sunday, January 23rd at 9 a.m. We'll have the worship service then, and then immediately following that will be the uh, annual meeting. So one worship service that day at 9 a.m. with the annual meeting immediately following that. For those that have committee reports to submit, please get them into Elisa by next Monday the 17th. Thank you. Juanita is going to host a mug and muffin this Saturday in the parish hall beginning at 10 o'clock and 1130. All women are invited to this time of gathering and reflecting on scripture and just having a, some real uh, great time together around some coffee and some treats. So uh, if you can, come into the parish hall this Saturday at 10 o'clock and have some some real uh, fellowship with other women. There's openings for altar flowers in February. You can call the office or see the sign-up sheet in the parish hall. And the same goes for coffee hour hosts. Uh, there's openings for January 23rd. That would be, you know, we'll have some sort of fellowship following the annual meeting and then on the 30th and then also all of February. Again, that sign-up sheet is in the parish hall. Beginning uh, January 30th, we're going to have a weekly scripture study from 9 to 9.45 on Sunday mornings between the worship services. We're going to do the same uh, focus or our study will begin by looking at the scripture for that Sunday. And we'll start there and see if folks like that. It'll be the similar curriculum as we use on Wednesday afternoon. So if that time works better for you, please keep that in mind. And we'll start that on Sunday, January 30th. You know, this recent cold weather uh, launch has had some specific needs and it's really, um, there's an outpouring of need for soups, you know, freeze dried, dried soups, you know, things that you can add hot water to, things that won't freeze, you know, and then also crackers, things that go with soup. Um, think of cold weather items and people that are that need some warmth in their in their bodies. So uh, please keep that in mind as you're uh, out shopping this week. In that regards, this last Sunday at the 10 a.m. worship, we uh, celebrated the bounty that was donated by you all to the outdoor food pantry that we support up by the high school. And that amount was a little over 920 pounds of nourishment that we, that we supplied for people in need and that were hungry. So we're going to keep that now as our goal. We are really hoping to exceed that because the food pantry gets stocked every week. And it, uh, because the, the need is so great for people that need nourishment, especially those younger folks that are launching into adulthood. Now let us pray for those for the sick. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve your sick servants and give your power of healing to those who minister to their needs. That Ray, Reve, and Debbie, for whom our prayers are offered, may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
And God will give you thanks for miracles and answered prayers as your people are strengthened and renewed through our intercession with you. We give you thanks also for all the blessings of this life and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. And as we prepare for worship this Sunday here at St. Peter's at 7.30 and 10 and then 3 o'clock in the afternoon at Bernie, I would offer this collect for this Sunday. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, is the light of the world, grant that your people, illumined by your word and sacraments, may shine with the radiance of Christ's glory, that he may be known, worshipped, and obeyed to the ends of the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. And grace and peace to you all, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.